In mid-May, the CDC announced that fully vaccinated people didn't need to wear masks in most places, either indoors or outdoors, according to CNBC. However, it now says evidence about the way the Delta variant can spread, even when it is acting on vaccinated people, has prompted a change of course. Here's what you need to know. Vaccinated people who become infected can spread the Delta variant, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, whose research included a detailed study of a COVID-19 outbreak that started July 3rd in a town in Massachusetts. The study initially involved 469 cases, three-quarters of whom had been fully vaccinated, with 90% of sequenced samples found to be carrying the Delta variant. Crucially, it found the viral loads of the still rare people who are both vaccinated and infected with Delta was similar to unvaccinated people. This means the number of virus particles in their airways was almost the same, and the CDC says that helps determine the risk of transmission. On that basis, the CDC says it has changed its advice on mask wearing for vaccinated people, recommending that they wear masks indoors in any area with significant spread of the virus. But additional concerning information is also emerging elsewhere. A preprint of a Chinese study in the Med Archive Journal has found Delta patients have viral loads around 1,000 times greater than patients with the original COVID variant virus and incubation periods of just four days, compared to six among people with the original strain. Meanwhile, a separate internal CDC report seen by the Washington Post said Delta is up to three times more transmissible than the original COVID variant. The same CDC report also said the period of infectivity for Delta is longer, causing high levels of viral shedding for 18 rather than 13 days, and cites three studies reporting that it causes more serious illness more often. In that context, the main constellation on offer is the conclusion that vaccines prevent over 90% of serious disease. With so much bad news around, it is little wonder that pessimism about dealing with Delta is widespread. Fear of breakthrough infections, namely infections which break through immune responses promoted by vaccines, is being widely reported as anecdotal evidence of people getting ill despite being double vaccinated spreads. However, much of the CDC's internal documentation discusses the need to assuage these fears with data around the efficacy of vaccines. In particular, the CDC's internal report emphasizes the need to point out that it is a statistical inevitability that the bare number and total percentage of deaths and hospitalizations in vaccinated people will go up as the number of people vaccinated overall goes up. This does not mean that the vaccines are ineffective, rather it means that more people have received them, which inevitably includes more at-risk individuals, some of whom, in rare cases, will get sick. In short, the ultimate solution remains the same. People have to get vaccinated. As the U.S. vaccination program stalls, the Delta variant is spreading fast through the country. Here's what you need to know. The number of new cases of COVID-19 in the U.S. has more than doubled in the last two weeks, according to the New York Times COVID tracker, with the Delta variant proving difficult to contain and a divide forming between those who are vaccinated and those who are not. As of July 14th, the seven-day average of daily cases in the country was 26,513, up from 12,540 on June 30th, with a notable hotspot emerging across Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. These are states where vaccination rates are among the lowest in the U.S., with just 35% of people in Mississippi fully vaccinated, compared to 66.5% in Vermont, which has the highest vaccination rate in the country, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The effects of infections are also proving much more dangerous to the unvaccinated. While almost 50% of Americans have been fully vaccinated, Associated Press analysis of U.S. government data showed a 99% of deaths and hospitalizations from COVID in the last month involved those who were unvaccinated. The role of the Delta variant in causing many of these infections is now widely acknowledged. It made up to 57.6% of new infections in the U.S. between June 20th and July 3rd, according to U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Delta is defined by several mutations to its spike protein, including at position L452R. Several of these mutations make the body's immune responses less effective and, according to the Global Virus Network, its P681R mutation, directly beside the furin cleavage site, is key in enabling the virus to grip onto and invade human cells more effectively. This increased ability to replicate inside human airways can mean an individual is likely to shed more virus particles when infected, a virologist at Imperial College London told the Daily Telegraph. 
And the overall outcome of these adjustments to the virus is that the U.S. is currently dealing with a variant that is up to 60% more transmissible than the Alpha variant, according to a modeling study cited by the Global Virus Network. Evidence shows vaccines remain effective against Delta, however. A Public Health England study on vaccine efficacy against the Delta variant found the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine 96% effective against hospitalization after two doses, with AstraZeneca 92% effective. Overall, it found Pfizer-BioNTech just 6% less effective than it is against the Alpha variant, and AstraZeneca just 1% less effective. That scientific reality leaves the race to vaccinate as the key story in the U.S. at this moment, with one professor in the Division of Infectious Diseases at Vanderbilt University Medical Center explaining to CNN that the more unvaccinated people there are, the more opportunities for the virus to multiply and mutate. Vaccination rates within the U.S. have dropped off in recent weeks, with average daily vaccinations falling from a peak of 3.4 million per day to around 417,000 as of July 9th, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Currently, 48.3% of the U.S. population is fully vaccinated. However, there is also room for optimism as a result of the vaccinations administered so far. According to the New York Times COVID tracker, even with the recent spike, new infections in the U.S. are currently less than a tenth of the average daily rate at the height of the pandemic in January. Hospitalizations represent just a fraction of their winter peak, and deaths are near their lowest level since spring 2020. The U.S. is certainly in a better position than Indonesia, which set a daily case record of 54,517 on Wednesday, according to CNN, with 991 deaths. Similarly, Russia had 25,293 new cases and a record death toll of 791 on Thursday, according to the Moscow Times. While in China, local governments are moving aggressively to push residents to get vaccinated, and some are planning to bar them from accessing public venues if they refuse, according to MarketWatch. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.